Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add sound to your Google Drawing. So for example, if I click on the sound icon, it is set up to where it will open, and if you hit the play button, it will play. Before you get started, you want to go ahead and go to Google. I'm going to type in sound icon, and I'll do an image search for a sound icon so that when people click on it, I will set it up to where it will play a sound. Do make sure that you choose search tools, and make sure that you choose Label for Reuse with Modification so that we adhere to the copyright laws. I'm going to go ahead and save this sound icon, so I will right-click and choose Save Image As. I don't need to click on it to get the bigger image because I'm going to make this image rather small. I will go to my Computer Class folder on the desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my Sound folder. I will call it Icon and choose Save. I'm now going to do a web search and I'm going to go to Find Sounds. It's all one word, and there it is. It's findsounds.com. And since one of my animals it happens to be penguins, I will type in penguins. You do have to spell it correctly. There's only a couple sounds. You definitely want to hit the play button to see if it plays. I was able to hear it, so I will hit the back arrow to get back to Find Sounds. And it was number one, so I will right click and choose save link as. Do keep in mind that I'm on Google Chrome. If you're using a different browser, it might be save target as. I will go ahead and go to that computer class folder in sound, and I will name it Penguin. Once you save it, go ahead and go to your drive and open up your poster. With that sound, I'm going to go ahead and go to my drive. You might want to put the sound in a specific place. To be organized, I'll go to my computer class folder. With the computer class open, I'm going to choose Create Folder. I will name the folder Sound and then choose Create. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up that Sound folder. I will choose the Upload arrow, Files, and then go to that Sound folder on my desktop. In this case it's Penguin. I will choose Penguin and choose Open. It's going to load. You can see it loading in the bottom right. Once it's loaded, you will see Share in the right. Go ahead and click on Share. You want to choose Advanced. In this case, you will change it from Private by clicking on the Change option and choosing On Public, and then choose Save. A window will pop up, and you can see at the top it says Link to Share. With it selected, do Control c of your keyboard to copy it, or you can right-click and choose Copy, and then choose Done. You would then go back to the endangered animal. I'm going to go ahead and choose Insert Image. I will choose an image to upload. Locate that icon that I saved earlier. Choose Open. And of course I'm going to make it smaller. Go to the Crop option at the top and choose the drop down arrow and choose Shapes and then I will make it oval. With it selected you choose the Insert Link and do Control V which is a shortcut for paste, and then choose Apply. Since it automatically saves, I'm going to go ahead and go to the website, refresh the window, and there you can see the penguin. If I click on it, it has the play option to play the penguin noise. Now I can go ahead and select the icon once it's perfected, do Control C, Control V, and then I can add it over here to a different animal. Of course, you want to make sure you change the hyperlink, because right now this whale is set up to open a penguin sound. I am now going to quickly demonstrate how to link to a video. So I will type in Tiger Video. Go ahead and look at maybe National Geographic. Go ahead and watch the video to see if it's worth linking to. Select the URL and right click and choose Copy or Control C. You can return to your poster. You can select the image. As you can see, I already set up a YouTube video. I'll remove that, and I'm going to choose the hyperlink and do Control v to paste in that new link and choose Apply. Now when I go back and refresh the window, you'll see that new link for the tiger. This concludes the session on how to set up links on your Google Drawing. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.